I hate when people send PDFs in an, uh, in an email. It's so boring. Mm. It's what everyone else is doing. And I never open them. Try to use something else. If it's a digital sales room or a video or a GIF, I don't know. But PDFs in emails has never got open in my email inbox. We are here today at SaaS Open in New York, and I have Samir, CEO and co-founder at GetAccept, a tool that allows sales teams to get closed one. We're going to talk about uh, team structure, marketing, and how sales teams can work better together to uh, get that uh, pipeline in great shape. Uh, Samir, what got you started? Uh, frustration from doing sales myself, seeing sales being broken as they were doing more or less the whole sales process in the email inbox. I didn't think that was building the best buyer experience. So I wanted to create GetAccept to help sales reps become superstar sales reps and build the best buyer experience selling more or less whatever they now are selling. Tell me more about what differentiates uh, GetAccept from other solutions in the marketplace. I would say we compete with quite many kids since we have a lot of different solutions in one and that's our unique concept. So if you are an AE, you should arm yourself with GetAccept and you take it from opportunity. You have all your sales content in there. You have your customer cases in there so you can run the process. You can create this one room where you can chat, engage, use video. And then in the end, we also have the full part of proposal, contract, and getting that signature done. So that puts us in a unique position because you don't have to buy three or four different point solutions. So who buys uh, GetAccept and how do they justify ROI to their uh, CFO? Yeah, so the main buyer is someone in sales. Sometimes, I mean, we have a free version where they just come in and buy and then it can be the AE. I think we go and hunt. It's the VP of sales, uh, CRO, or maybe then the RevOps and, and the sales enablement manager who got a little bit more report now uh, choosing their tools and the tool stack. And how do they justify the ROI to the CFO? I would say like since, as I said, like we can replace many point solutions. So if you're sitting with many point solutions, which many nowadays are because they're buying up and filling up the stack, we can actually remove some of those point solutions so it becomes more cost efficient. But overall, what we are pitching is, hey, if you're building the best buyer experience, you can be unique in your way of selling and you can understand the buyer and what they need then you can close more deals. So it's mm -hmm. more about, okay, how can we get that one extra deal, one for you and your team? Mm. Have you seen uh, get accept used creatively to uh, get uh, a close one these days? Yeah, of course, there, there's many creative ways to close one, but I just saw one the other day uh, where one rep was using it for inviting for his wedding, which I thought was really fun. Uh, not the sales case, but just getting all the presentations in there about where, where the wedding are, what will happen, the agenda, and also get, gathering everyone coming to the wedding so that they, commu could, they could communicate, <laughs> chat, etc., etc. in one place. There was no signature done in that wed uh, wedding uh, planning and, and getting that uh, ring on the finger. The signature was not included, but they got all the other things. Uh, from yeah. the well, uh, deals happen in every stage yeah, of life. Yeah, exactly. That can also be one deal. Um, you have uh, sales teams and customer success in your own organization. What kind of metrics do you um, have them aligned on to work well together? I mean, in the end, everyone is focusing on the ARR and, uh, and adding up to that. I think overall, then sometimes they share, of course, metrics, mainly for example, marketing and sales is looking at pipe pipeline and how we create value in that pipeline and building it up. Um, also, our marketing working towards our existing customer base. And then they also share a pipeline, but that's more on expansion deals and mm -hmm. how they can bring in those kind of interest and pipeline through webinars, etc. about the products. So more it's on the product marketing side. So I think pipeline and, and ARR overall is what brings them together in the most common way. Uh, you were also talking about aligning them on uh, some brand metrics. Um, how, how do you do on? Yeah, so for example, we have we work with OKRs. Uh, one of the objective is to be the digital sales room leader. Um, one care of that is actually getting uh, G two reviews uh, that are top notch, and that's one thing that they really align around. Where marketing needs to make sure that we talk about digital sales room and the brand, etc. Sales need to sell to the right companies that are using it in a good way. And then the customer success, when they find happy users, they want to ask them for the reviews. And that's where they unite around, yeah, being the digital sales room category. Mm -hmm. What percentage of your pipeline comes from marketing? Let's say uh, 
give and take 50% nowadays. Uh, we have been going a little bit off market, uh, which now outbound stands for more and more of that part. Uh, about 50% uh, nowadays is coming. And uh, what uh, metrics do you report on board on, uh, from, from the marketing standpoint? How deep do you go into your metrics? I mean, we go very deep. Of course, it's the MQLs, and, but nowadays it's more MQL value. Uh, that is important for us. We're trying to not, for example, include the ones that we call the shrimps that should be self-serve uh, and focus more on like, the high-value customers that we are doing. So MQL, MQL value. Uh, I also think that SQOs, like how much conversion do we have from the MQL to SQOs is something that we track. So yeah, overall those metrics, but then there are many leading detailed metrics on top of that. And do you do CAC uh, per channel as well? Do you go detailed on uh, yeah. CAC per paid, organic, uh, events, yeah, exactly, things like that? Exactly. You do? So yeah, we, we, we are very um, heavy on calculating those different uh, ROI metrics on what we spend. Mm. Tell me more, what are some of the marketing motions that are working for you, where the pipeline is coming from? Yeah, so I mean, overall, what we've been seeing nowadays, we've been working quite a lot with the brand. So mm -hmm. we see a lot of organic coming in, actually, from mm -hmm. that work, and that cannot always be attributed. Uh, right now, what we're focusing a lot on is uh, LinkedIn and how to work with retargeting a customer that has been touching us in different ways. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that has been working quite well to build up a top funnel. Uh, and and uh, yeah, then we work with the sales reps to, to nurture them going forward. Mm, so it's a lot of social selling? I think lots of social selling. That has been experimented last half year, mm -hmm. um, both with uh, educating the different team members. But that takes time, as you know. Like uh, You need to get your brand and your personal brand in combination with the Get Accept brand out there. Uh, many do come to us and say, like, you, you're very active, both as a company, but also the individuals uh, on LinkedIn, Instagram, etc. So yeah, I think uh, but it takes time. Do you have motions that marketing motions that you've tried recently that haven't worked? Yeah, I think I mean PLG was uh, and is still like a big topic. Uh, we tried it out. I don't know if we tried it out fully mm -hmm. uh, in a way, but we saw that we got tons of uh, uh, leads coming in. We saw tons of signups, uh, but we couldn't really get them converting, and mm. they were very small. So even if we got a lot, we couldn't get the ARR from it. Uh, but what we got was a good virality because mm. everyone using Get Accept is spreading the brand through a digital sales room. Mm -hmm. And then that generated higher customer values on the other end where we saw some signups coming in. So yeah, that was a good motion, but also a motion that we really couldn't get any ARR from, at least not directly from What's uh, next for Get Accept? What excites you for the future? Yeah, so right now we're building uh, the new version of the digital sales room. So we've mm. been pitching, selling, implementing digital sales room now for a couple of years. We have been re... It's more of like an evolution of the platform. We're now releasing the new version of the digital sales room. So I, as a product person, I love sitting with the product team. I look very much forward to April when we now are releasing that. Uh, so that is super fun for me. Um, and will be an amazing new version uh, that, I'm, that, that we're releasing here around the corner. Not to tease too much, but yeah, check it out soon on LinkedIn. <laughs> How, um, we're all co-founders and we're all in a very interesting market these days um, where tech is getting affected. Yeah. Um, what are some of your challenges from that these days? Remember, of course, we, we, us, our custom base, of course, many are in tech, but not too much. We are very diversified. So that has been good. Of mm -hmm. course, we've seen some contraction mainly on the tech side, meaning they're not leaving us, but since there are fewer reps, maybe they, they contract and use uh, less seats. Mm -hmm. So that has been an uh, impact. Uh, but overall, I think we have managed to then pitch the part where you consolidate, where you actually reduce your costs. So our new new has been good on top of that. So not too much impact, to be honest. We're doing uh, hopefully our best quarter ever. So yeah, looking forward to that. What do you see uh, salespeople doing these days that you wish they would stop doing? Oh, I think I hate, I hate when people sending uh, PDFs in an, uh, in an email. Mm. I, I really get, it's so boring. Mm. It's what everyone else is doing and I never open them. Mm. So yeah, try to be a, little bit, be a little bit different. Try to use something else. If it's a digital sales room or a video or a GIF, I don't know. But PDFs in emails has never got open in my email inbox.